What's popping everybody? Welcome back to JCity. If you're new to my channel, what's up? My name is Jason and I'm a fourth year mechanical engineering student at the University of Western Ontario. Final season has finally arrived and today is currently Friday. I have a midterm, not a midterm, a final on Monday. So today I'm going to be grinding the crap out of that final because I do want to do well on it. And I was like, you know what? I might as well vlog it and show you what it looks like. So the first step to a successful study session at Weldon Library is to simply find a spot at the library. So right now we're just going to simply walk around the library and see if we can find a spot here. Honestly, it's quite a, uh, quite a challenge. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You're kidding, you're kidding. No. Yeah, yeah. All right, no worries. No worries at all, but... No, I mean, if you got here first, like, it's only fair that you get it. Truthfully, um, I've been here for the last two days, and both times we had to walk around for at least 20 minutes in order to find a spot, so I think we might have to do that. Should we go here? No, I just like going through there. Going through it's there. like, honestly, those desks with, like, the outlet and the light is really nice. Yeah, I agree. Um, how long I've been here for the last couple of days studying for our exam. So our first exam is Introduction to Nano Engineering. And that exam is the hardest exam in the entirety of my exam season. I don't know about Ryan. Now for me, it's production management. That's true, yeah. Production management does seem, seem like a lot of content. My easiest exam happens to be at the very last day of exam season. So like, I really wish that my hardest exam was gonna be at the end so that I don't have to hustle and grind all the way until like Monday, like our first exam. I honestly have no plan with this video. I'm just winging it, but this is what the day in the life, no, it's not a day in the life. This is what engineering study season looks like. Let's get on with the video. So the thing about studying for exams is that I know we're supposed to maximize our time studying, but I think it's really important to find a balance between both studying and taking breaks. So I think a really good way to just take a break is to constantly fill up your water bowl and make sure that it's full because number one, it's really good to stay hydrated. And number two, if you have to go to the washroom, then you're gonna get up out of your seat and go to the washroom and that's gonna be like sort of like a study break. So I got my full water and I'm gonna go to the washroom because I gotta like go to the washroom now. So I've studied for around two hours so far. Right now it is 7.30 p.m. I'm getting pretty hungry, so I think I'm gonna grab food at Tim Hortons right now since that is the only food place that is available right now. Um, I just walked all the way from Weldon to the University Community Center, which is just like a one minute walk. So I'm going to grab some food right now. Hi there. Can I please get a Chipotle stick or a wrap? Alright, so now I'm back at Weldon. I just got my food. I am vlogging today. Yeah. Yeah. How's studying going? Six assignments due today. Holy crap. 
Yeah, wait, l wait, let me put my camera down. Hi everyone, this is Rachel, and uh, your name is? Kiara. Kiara? Yeah, nice, nice to meet you. you. I'm Jason. Nice yeah. to meet you. Yeah. Oh, yo, wait, your house got robbed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Too much for me, you can't shake your thought, you touch and feel. Alright, well, I will let you to it. Good luck with studying for exams. So I just finished the dinner and I'm gonna see if I can get a solid like two, three hour grind session in right now. So let's go ahead and do that. So it's currently 2.32 a.m. This library closes at 3 a.m. So it's almost closing time. Earlier, I said that I was gonna study for another two to three hours, but I actually lied. I studied for another four to six hours, but during that four to six hours, I was actually pretty productive. So let's see what I was able to, to accomplish. So first of all, I completed problem set number nine, which is about quantum statistics. Um, I'm just gonna do a scroll through because this is actually kind of satisfying. You know, sometimes it's kind of like, and nice to see the work that you put into it. But yeah, so I completed this. In total, there are 10 problem sets, and I wanna really finish all of the 10 problem sets because my exam is open book, and it will definitely help me out a lot if I complete all of my problem sets, kinda of like how it helped me out a lot during the midterm when I also completed all of my problem sets. Other than that, I also watched over three hours of video lectures, so over here, this is about nanofluidics. And after watching these videos, it will definitely help me out a lot with assignment number 10, because that is about nanofluidics, which is right over here. By the way, with this video, I am not condoning pulling all-nighters right before an exam. I'm simply staying up late a couple of days before the exam and I'm not actually cramming the day of the exam. I will probably be comfortable completing the exam by the end of this weekend, so I'll probably be taking it easy um, before the day of the exam. I would say that I'm tired, but truthfully, I'm not really that tired because I'm wired to be a night owl. I don't know, I just find that all of my creativity and productivity happens at the nighttime. But since I've been grinding for 
the entire day mentally, I am pretty drained. So I think this is a really good time to end off this video. I'm actually going to be ending off this video outside over in the pretty part of this building. So this has been what an exam season looks like for a fourth year mechanical engineering student. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're new to J-City, what's popping? My name is Jason and I make videos about my university life as well as with tech. So if that's your thing, definitely click that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you're not gonna miss out on any new future posts. And while you're at it, why not give this video a big thumbs up and yeah, take care everyone. And thank you so much for watching. Until next time, peace.